Hello, hello, Edwazel here, and thanks for joining me as I continue on my adventures in SnowRunner on hard mode. And today we're up to day five here in the Glades on the Crossroads map. I'm sticking on this map for a bit yet. Um, we've scouted it all out and we've started to get a pretty good go on with the tasks. So uh, hoping today we'll be able to continue that uh, progress uh, and knock over a few more tasks and maybe even look at a couple of the contracts as well. So if you remember yesterday, we got ourselves to the, uh, uh, this pickup point over here where we have got our drilling equipment. And I'm also, while I'm here, going to grab that little scout, which is for the shady deals or something like that, shady something or other, uh, task. And we're gonna head on back to uh, where this goes. Now, I'm thinking, let me have a quick look at the map. As you know, I've I'm, I'm not done this before. So I'm sort of having a bit of a guess as to uh, where things should go and how we'd be best suited to do these tasks. Um, I'm, I'm in two minds as to whether I just toddle back along the railway line or whether I follow this road that's, that's here. I think I might follow the road. I mean, I haven't got a huge amount of fuel load. So I I don't know about whether this is a great idea, but you know, again, this is all part of this learning process. Uh, with any luck, I might find a fuel trailer along here somewhere, or we might do okay. There's definitely something over there. I don't know what that is, but it's for something. Let's go down the road. This was pretty muddy and disgusting. So we've got a heavy flatbed trailer here with a, I don't know what it is, but it looks like a propeller blade for a wind farm, I should think. So I imagine at some stage we're going to need to be coming down here and picking up a blade for a wind farm and taking it somewhere. That's pretty cool. Well, at least we now know that's there. Just a little worried that I'm not going to be able to get as far along here as I hoped I would. It is what it is, we'll do our best. Let's come up onto the grass and hope that we don't get ourselves into a bit of a mess. the train line again. Mm -hmm. well, we haven't come back to the train line, there's a lot of trainy bits there. Okay, yeah, good on the trainy bits. Now I've got under 100 litres of fuel. I have no idea if we're meant to do anything with those trainy bits later on, probably not. I reckon they're probably just a bit of a, a blockade so you can't just go zooming along the train line. I'm going to stick to the grass here. Corner. Oh, that looks like there might be a bit of a up down. I'm going to a little bit more to that. Hmm. A bit more. 
donkeys. that at any real speed. actually going quite well because this is taking us pretty much directly to where we want to go I think which is over there where that little down arrow points still got 59 litres of fuel uh, we're going to get very close to there but if we can't quite make it we'll be very very close and obviously people go up and over that grass which is probably a good idea for the shady dealings thing we do there. I think we're just going to leave that truck on the side of the road here. Oh, we're going to make this guys, we are going to make this. This is the main road which leads into the, the railway station which is where we're heading. Pretty cool eh? So I want to detach that bit of truck so before I get all excited and blitz along. It's just dropping off there. So that'll be a lot easier to finish that risky dealing later on. Five. Let me just check where the heck I am taking this. Oh, I'm taking it over there. Okay. Oh, I thought I was bringing it here. <coughs> Shows you what I know, don't I? That's okay. I know we've got our fuel trailer right here, so uh, that's pretty neat. And while I'm here, I'm going to detach the trailer. And go and attach that maintenance trailer. Uh, service trailer, sorry. somewhere but I couldn't remember where I'd left it. So we'll just quickly 
quickly prepare uh, the Repair the board. Pairing, going to bump into my own train. We won't get too fast. I'm sure I'll bump into other things on this journey. Okay. So now we're good to head over to the sorting terminal warehouse where we can then deliver our drilling equipment. This is the way we came back with the bore, which worked really well this, this way. It's a, a fairly well sealed road that uh, connects the two. There's a couple of nasty bits in the middle, but uh, not too bad at all. Tell I'm Australian because I drive on the left side of the road. <laughs> it's habit. I'm sure if uh, I was American, I would have naturally been on the right side of the road. Again, just out of habit. Let's try and be on the right side. It'll feel very wrong. But that's okay. There we go. It makes that a much tighter turn. Though. Right, yeah. so we've then got to drop this off quite happily here at the sorting terminal warehouse. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly take a photo of that. Okay, so let's now unload our drilling equipment and we've done power change. Fantastic, $6,000 into our account. Well, I'm just going to stop the engine there to work out what's the best net thing to do next because I really don't know. So we've got a bit of this and a bit of that which is to deliver the household supplies trailer which is a trailer down here somewhere it's probably a curtain side I would have thought um, they usually that sort of thing usually is because it doesn't say scout vehicle required, so I'm assuming it's a normal trailer. There's shady dealings, by the way, so um, we probably, actually, let's have a quick look at shady dealings. Yes, we need to return the abandoned car there. Well, at the moment, the abandoned car is here, so it would be very easy for us to bring it back there, and that may well then be a good spot to pick up that, uh, whatever it was called, bit of this and a bit of that. Okay, help on the field is a farming sort of thing. We have to cultivate the seed field, seed the field, harvest the field. So that's the Kirovets will do that. Supplies for the village. We need some medium logs and packaged sand. Well, that's going to be a little bit hard um, until we start doing some logging. Although there was that logging trailer we found down here. Yeah, we found that logging trailer which will do medium logs, and there's a logging station here, so maybe, although if we take that behind a, a normal truck, it means we have to do two trips. Uh, fine. Uh, photo shoot, the last thing we have to do is put somewhere up here, I remember. Sample field we've already done. Roll out. Deliver four roll uh, hay, hay jiggers to the hay barn. And hay delivery deliver six hay bales to the hay barn. Right, so there's a lot of delivery of hay bales to hay barns. That might be something we can do. And stocking up. Oh yeah, that's the last thing I want to do, which is about fuel. All right, well I think what we might do is we might do the shady, the shady dealings, take that little truck up to here, then do a bit of this and a bit of that, which will get us to take the supplies trailer up to here and I'll just winch it behind the uh, semi-trailer 
And then we need to deliver four, ah, four consumables. Okay, where can I get consumables? Where do I get consumables? Let's have a look at the warehouses and see which one I use to pick up consumables. Oh, there we go, that was easy. It's the railway terminal. Right, so what I should do is head over to the railway terminal, pick up four consumables, then head out, take the little truck and deliver it for shady dealings, then winch the trailer along here, do, 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 and deliver it here with the four consumables. And that will finish off a bit of this and a bit of that. All right, so let's do it. So four consumables, that'll be easy to fit in. Oh, easier than turning around. Oh, well, we probably would've made it actually, uh, just in case. All right, so four consumables. What if I should have picked something like that today? Again, I really haven't, I'm going to keep telling you this, I haven't done a run sheet for this, so it is quite possible that I've missed a trip there by not taking something from that uh, uh, loading spot and taking it back to the railway station, because at least I could have done that. Pretty sure there's a fuel station up somewhere near that village. I remember there's one around there somewhere. If there is, that'll be just great because I'll then I'll then be able to refuel sort of up there near the village, um, which would work out really well. Might have to just check where that fuel station is because we might be stretching our friendship a bit for fuel otherwise. One, and we're gonna need four. I guess I shouldn't really be so fussy about these, because we are going to pack them anyway. That's okay, we'll pop them in as well as we can. Right. So 
this should be pretty cool. Four of these. We'll then take that little um, loaf with us. Oop, okay, as we saw a crane. Get off these bumpers. Try and come back relatively straight. straight I can be before I start, the better it's going to be, so I have to reverse this trail right back to the end. Not bad. Okay, the cargo. It's just going to take a little while to do this, because I'm pretty inept at reversing. tasks to shady dealings because that'll tell us where we're going with our little mate. Now I possibly could have even put him in the tray, carried him in the tray, but uh, I don't think we're going to be needing our, uh, our winch for, for much on this run. expected that carn loaf to have no fuel in it. Oh, that's a waste. Oh well, there you are. Should have checked that earlier, shouldn't I? Oh, what a pity. I've got nothing else to put it in. <laughs> oh. oh, is it worth... Stop the engine. Where's that? I don't know. It's probably barely worth it. So he needs a hundred litres. Yeah, let's go. Just let us go and get it. As in, get the fuel. So we're going to spend some fuel to get some fuel, but we will be net positive. So it's worth getting it. Now I'm actually going to pull the door up here because I'm not sure what I'm going to be using it for next. So I'm not going to take it back to the railway station just for the sake of taking it back there. If it needs to go back there, well, good. But uh, if we're actually going to be heading somewhere else, then uh, also just as well. So 
that's fine, we'll just pull up there. Stop engine, refuel from the loaf to the Voron, take it all, right. Change into the Taiga. Chat everybody along. And we'll deliver him around this corner here. And the assumption that I can go around here. Yeah. Right, yeah. And there we go. So that's shady dealings done. So a bit of it, and there. <laughs> How easy is this? This is just made for it. So obviously we are meant to now grab this uh, curtain side and take it with us. Ooh, that was too close to my phone. So get the curtain side, take it with us up to the village. Fully, fully filled up. We'll just park here in this sort of parking bay. It'll keep us nicely out of the way. That is close enough to the back of the semi trailer. consumables and our household supplies trailer. Right, so he's nice and close. So let's look at where we're going to go. I'm pretty sure we're going to go this way. Come on here, over here. Hmm, let him just set that. And then follow this rutty, horrid road. I wonder if it might be just better if we try and follow the train line to get to here and then follow the sealed road. Or even better still, why don't we just follow the sealed road? So we'll take the main road around here, because again, the main road is so much quicker and easier. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, pretty happy with this. This should be pretty straightforward. That fuel station was. Where was that fuel station? We found a fuel station over on this side of the map. I just can't remember where it was. Easy, 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 easy. And the damage the truck going over there. Let's hop in. Bit of hop in time, hop in pop. Steady. So that's where the trailer store is in there on the left. And so you can get some stuff, but I'm not sure exactly what it is you can get there. Okay, and here we go up to the intersections. Sun is setting, so we must be heading west. Good. 
<laughs> yes. Man, we gotta be turning the Always nervous when you're in the driving seat. Um, about your winched trailer when you go around poles like this one here. Because you think, oh, have I gone wide enough? Is it going to catch on that pole? Because it can be quite catastrophic if that happens. <laughs> you can end up, you know, you can end up on your side uh, if you're unlucky. All right, we must be very close now. Yep, let me turn down here. Don't go in that ditch. No, I said don't go in that ditch. Okay, I'm going to have to hop out because I can't see where I'm going. Right, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Couldn't see where we were going because we were there. Let's just bring the trailer into that zone. Which we now have done. Yes, drop our winch, and then we just need to bring the truck back into there, which means going that way. Did I get enough line up? No, I can do and go even faster. Consumables. One, two, three, four. And there goes a bit of this and a bit of that. Oh, that is so cool. We've done so well. All right. So more tasks. What's the next thing? Help on the field. That's a, yep, that's the one where you got to do um, all the uh, farming stuff. Supplies for the village. Oh, yes, that's the two medium logs and the package of sand. And I'm sort of thinking I want to do that. I don't know how I'm going to do that. Because if I convert one of the trucks to a medium log um, add-on, so I can t take the two medium logs in one go, you know, I can't take the package sand as well. Hmm, I'll have to think about that. Photo shoot goes with hay delivery, roll out and hay delivery go together, and stopping, oh wow, we are getting really close to uh, finishing off all the tasks here. All right, so I think I was going to do hay delivery or one of these hay ones, wasn't I? Photo shoots still have to go to the farming plot up there. All right, well, we can do that. Where's the fuel? Oh, there's the fuel station over there. All right. All right. Let's try and do one of these hay ones. Hay delivery. Yeah, hay delivery is the one that has everything up here. And hay and rollout is picking up stuff from over here and bringing it back over there. Well, in both cases, we're coming back to here, which is where the uh, fuel trailer is. Yeah, okay, fine. Let us start with hay delivery. Now, it says tractor manipulator module is required, but I think it's fibbing. I think you can pick up um, hay bales uh, with your crane. I believe that that's the case. So let's give that a try. So we're going to find them sort of over, I guess, on these fields, aren't we, really, you'd expect. Um, so let's, and don't forget, we want to go up here as well. So I'm going to put a marker up there because that's for the photo shoot task. In fact, let's go to the photo shoot task. It's there, right. Okay. So we've got a marker where we want it. And if we then say, hey, delivery, activate, no, Activate hay delivery. That'll tell us where the little pickup things are. All right, so let's go and find to sell some hay. And while we're at it, visit that um, that site up. Here's one of our hay 
these barrels. Or at least aren't they off ours, so that'll do. Ooh, bit of an angle, but I don't think it matters. I don't think Hayes are expecting very heavy. Which I wonder. Doesn't seem very heavy. Now, I'm gonna. Oh, I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. Because I think these will stack. Let's see if we can stack them side on. It would be nice to get all six into the trailer if I can. That would be good. And if I can put them sort of side on like this, although it might mean I'll have to detach the trailer, because obviously the uh, Russian crane is not going to be able to um, do a great job of uh, reaching back and putting them all over the place. Yeah, so we'll leave that there and see how we go. Uh, don't pack it. Restore the crane. Now I might roll around too much. As I say, I don't really know what I'm doing at the moment, so we're learning as we go. We've got one of our hey? Oh yeah, look at that go. It's going to roll all the way all over the place. Okay. Now I guess once I've got a lot in there, it won't be a problem. Here's another one. Nice. So we'll pick him up and put him in the front. Oh, that other one's coming up to the front. <laughs> oh, there you go. So they're just going to roll all over the all over the tray, so that might prove to end up being just too difficult to work with. I think I'll put that one that way. You won't roll now, so those two will stay still. Now I could still end up just packing them all anyway. But let's head up to that uh, blue spot and mark that one off because there's another one on the way. Oh, I've got to take a handbrake off. I'm you know, sitting there just looking at things. That's okay, let's head over this way. Oh, there's not one ahead of us, that's, that's the first one of my trailer, so that's a little bit of a trick when uh, you haven't packed them. So we may well pack them. Okay. Probably didn't really need to bring the trailer with me, did I? I'm actually going to switch to photo shoot. So we can see the blue square. And that should finish Photoshop. And it does. Hooray. Alright, so that's good. So pick up, so we'll continue on with our hay, hay delivery. Yep, just going to turn around if I can. And I don't want to tip my truck over doing this. I'm a bit nervous of where the tail's going to go now. I think we'll be okay. So we've got one there, and one there, and oh, two there, two there and two there. There's one right ahead of us. So I'm just going to park in this view here. I'll detach the trailer. Nip off and get that first one. Just can't wait for you. 
the Russian trailer actually is. I have a Russian uh, trainer. enough room, yep, for the last two. And that back over there. Just have a little look at the map and see how thick that wood is. Oh, I must be. Oh, there they are. You can sort of see them. Right. So, really, I should probably come through here, sort of go round the wood to come to this side, because I think going through would be a bit of a challenge. Let's 
one should go. Hopefully we've left ourselves just enough space. Put the other one in sideways. straight ahead. So if we literally just go straight, oh that is so cool. I'm going to mark it because it won't mark while I, it doesn't think I've picked up the uh, picked up the hay yet. So mark it. Come straight across here. We've got these six in. The fuel is not looking like a problem. Well maybe we don't have a guard right there. That's a bit annoying. Who puts a guardrail on your road? We'll have to go around with that. Oh no, it's not a guardrail. It's the train track. Oh, that's all right. Just keep going. Just keep swimming. Don't you guys jump out. One, two, three, four. Five, six, good I Don't want anyone jumping out. two tasks that basically are bringing hay bales to this same spot so we uh, we've done hay delivery so now we could refuel from the step um, where's the step it's just back there isn't it So we're probably going to want to come around the main road again and there'll be one or so, two on this side and two on this side. Okay, cool. So we want to go along the main road. All right, yeah. So as it was, we were going to go past the, uh, the step. Like we didn't know. I'm going to want 
to go left. Let's just check that. Oh, no, it's hay bales there. Why can't I do that? I guess you have to use the ones they say you have to use. You can't just pick up any old hay bales. I'm going the right way. Stop being a panic person. And there's a fuel station there, so I'll top up when I'm over here. And just mark it. Take the hand wrap off. Goes better there. Right. We've done well today. I'm happy with our uh, confused muddle of tasks that we actually managed to, to get through. in this Tiger. Definitely has the power needed for this sort of terrain. Just got to be careful, you can get a bit too much of a wiggle on it and then uh, find that both the truck and the trailer are um, sliding around. More hay bales! Pick all of them up. Any of them. But no, we have got the special papers. Whoa! Look at that trailer go. So we're going a bit steady. So there's four of them up to the left at the moment. Here's our fuel station. I'm not going to refuel her. Okay, let's slow down. Right, so all four, so there's none down this side. So it lied about them being down this side. Now all four of them are up here, and there they all are. One, two, three, four, I can see them. Okay, so I think the easiest way is gonna be to come across from there. I mean, we could probably try and go up here. I do like going through to see uh, sunflowers, but there's a big ditch in the way. Uh, we'll come around a bit more and then uh, cut across. Again, we'll do a very similar uh, trick to what we did with the other ones. We'll, in fact, no, with four, no, we'll just back them. We only got four, so it's not uh, such a big deal. Okay, so there's quite a deep ditch there. I don't like that ditch. It's a bit ditchy. So we'll go down a bit more head first, but not fully head first. is going to be how we um, yeah how, how we load multiple hay bales. Can we load multiple hay bales onto the trailer? Because if we can't, then that's going to be a tad annoying. Not the end of the world, because you know obviously we can. Um, that's not what I thought would happen. Oh, okay, so the one that's there is almost immovable. Okay, that's fine. So there's two of them in. Okay, and last one. So, 
basically they, they'll sit on top of each other a bit. just about go straight down there. I'm not going to worry about the gas station because I'll still... Oh, where am I heading? Oh, back to the main road. Yeah, back to the main road. Okay, so I want to go down here. Somewhere. Oh. Down there. Let's go through that lovely field of beautiful sunflowers. Shady dealings to drop off the, the car loaf. We took our consumables that we loaded up, plus that uh, curtain side trailer up to do a bit of this and a bit of that. And we're going to finish the day having done the hay bales or hay delivery. Oh, and finishing photo shoot. Oh my gosh, we finished so much today. We did photo shoot as well, that last site. Was, uh, Standing for photo shoot, and um, and then we're going to do roll out as well. I'm going to keep going until we finish this, so we will go a fraction past our eight o'clock end, but maybe a little bit. And as steady as we go along here, because I can get a bit carried away and miss this turn. rollout done. Wow, so at 8.14, so we're only a fraction over, so that's great. But what a day, what a day. Big positive day, lots of the tasks done. So now we've got a couple of cultivate -y tasks, um, and then uh, and then we, uh, we'll be looking to move on probably to the next region, I guess. Now, I certainly don't want to drop off that fuel trailer just yet. We'll be doing that much later on because obviously I want to keep all the fuel in it for later. And uh, having spotted that uh, um, wind farm uh, blade, obviously we're going to need to still be coming down to this part of the of the maps. But anyway, that's that's for the future. So we'll um, we'll play that out as we can. But what a lot of tasks to be done in one day today! Yay for us! So hopefully you enjoyed. It was a bit of fun. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again tomorrow as we continue on our adventures. <laughs> Thanks for watching and bye for now. Bye-bye.